former Olympic champion gymnast Gabby Douglas returned to competition for the first time in eight years. Uh-huh, that's right. The 2012 Olympic all-around champion and the 2015 world all-around silver medalist Gabby Thomas is finally making a much-awaited comeback after eight years. Eight years. Will she end up on the podium again at this year's Paris Olympics? As you all know, it has been quite a while since Gabby has been on the professional stage, and there's a reason for that. She previously kinda retired from gymnastics. It was not definitive though, as Gabby told NBC that she never announced she was retiring. I didn't want to end this sport like I did in 2016. I wanted to take a step back and work on myself and my mental state, she said. I love gymnastics and I love pushing myself. I never wanted to walk away on a bad day. I honestly, deep, deep down, I, I didn't, I never wanted to like fully give it up and, and walk away. It is no secret either that Gabby has taken a step back from the public stage in the past for mental health reasons. In fact, in 2022, she shared on Instagram that she wanted to go dark on social media to work on her mental health. She wrote, I know I don't post a lot on social media, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be taking a step back from the socials to work on myself and focus on my mental health. She pointed out that her life has never been smooth or easy. I have carried a heavy weight on my back for quite some time, and it has weighed me down physically, mentally, and emotionally. Almost a year later, she posted a new update on her account. I wanted to find the joy again for the sport that I absolutely love doing. She wrote, I know I have a huge task ahead of me, and I am beyond grateful and excited to get back out on the floor. In the same NBC interview, Gabby said that she was inspired to get back out there again after watching the 2022 championships. I was like, I miss competing, she shared. I found myself in the gym and I was like, all right, maybe I could do this again. Talking to Inside Gymnastics magazine, she said, I really think that time, stepping back away from the sport and figuring out myself and life helped me. Deep down, I really believe I didn't want to walk away from gymnastics. On that note, the 2012 Olympic all-around champion planned to make her return at the Winter Cup in late February, but withdrew just days before the competition after testing positive for COVID-19. Prior to the Winter Cup, I was feeling really tired, very gassed, Douglas told NBC Olympics. I was like, why is my breathing restricted? I did a lot of resting after that. I was so sad I couldn't be there and it was rough during that week, but I'm feeling great. Back in training and going to be out on the floor soon. Since Douglas has not competed in nearly eight years, she needs to meet the score requirement at one of the two remaining classic competitions to qualify for the US championships, which would then set her up to qualify for the US Olympic team trials which is set to happen June 27th to the 30th. After the American Classic, the final qualification opportunity would come on May 18th at the Core Hydration Classic. Douglas announced her comeback last July, citing her desire to find joy in the sport again. Although she never announced a retirement, she kept a relatively low profile with no reports of her training following the Rio Games. When she returned to the gym in July of 2022, it was solely for herself for her inner peace. What I really want for myself is to take things one step at a time and go out there on a note of joy," Douglas said. Douglas has been training at the World Olympic Gymnastics Academy in Texas, the same gym that produced Olympic gold medalists Carly Patterson, Nastia Lukin, and Madison Koshian. In November 2023, she attended a U.S. national team camp for the first time since 2016, a major step in her comeback journey, allowing her to show routines and get feedback from national team staff. Although Douglas had hoped to attend the April camp, which would have been an opportunity to qualify for the U.S. championships, she was not eligible per the guidelines released by USA Gymnastics. According to the organization, all attendees had to be either current national team members placed in the top 12 all around at the Winter Cup and achieve the qualification score for the U.S. championships, or medalists from the Tokyo Olympics. I was so sad that I couldn't attend the April camp, but honestly I'm looking forward to doing the American Classic and grateful to be back in the gym getting stronger, detailing the routines, Douglas said. 
Despite the seemingly never-ending delays to her much-anticipated comeback, she was finally able to do it a few days ago when, after nearly eight years away from the sport that crowned her an Olympic champion, Gabby Douglas returned to gymnastics at the American Classic in Texas. With her sights set on the 2024 Paris Olympics, she will be the oldest American woman to compete in the gymnastics category since the 1950s if she makes the cut. Just before April came to a close, Gabby pulled on a sleeveless competition leotard and walked into a Texas gym to launch one of the most improbable comebacks in modern Olympic history. The three-time Olympic gymnastics gold medalist took part in her first competition since the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio at the American Classic. It is notably the first step in an improbable comeback aiming to make the 28-year-old the oldest U.S. women's gymnast at the Games since at least 2004, when Ania Hatch and Mohini Bardwaj, both then 26, competed. However, it wasn't as extravagant an event as one would imagine. Douglas's debut was about as far from the powerful Olympic spotlight as it could be. There were to be no bright lights, no television cameras, and only a few dozen fans on hand inside Stars Gymnastics, a training facility located in Katy, Texas. Making her first competitive appearance in nearly a decade in a training gym, it seemed like Douglas couldn't channel her adrenaline to overcome the nerves of her highly anticipated debut. Still, she successfully qualified to compete in the U.S. Championships, putting her on a path to compete at the Olympic Games in Paris this summer. She finished 10th in the all-around, but her scores on the vault and the balance beam qualified Douglas to compete in the two events at the U.S. Championships. To compete in all four events at Nationals, which will be held from May 30th to June 2nd in Fort Worth, Texas, Douglas will have to file a petition. Overall, Douglas performed as well as can be expected at the event. She landed one of the best vaults of the afternoon, but then proceeded to fall twice on what was once one of her best events, the uneven bars. She ultimately fell roughly one-third of a point shy of the 51 points she needed to qualify for all-around competition at this year's national championships, which begin May 30th, though she did accumulate enough points to qualify in two events, vault and balance beam. Douglas will have one last shot to qualify for all-around nationals in the U.S. Classic from May 17th to May 18th. Whatever happens, make no mistake, Douglas being back in competition at age 28 is a feat in itself. All in all, in her much-anticipated return to competitive gymnastics, Gabby Douglas showcased routines with difficult skills that proved she has the potential to compete with the best but several major mistakes signaled that she must show improvement over the next two months to be a strong contender for the U.S. Olympic team in Paris. My biggest goal, like I said, was to love the sport that I love doing. And like I said, I never wanted to walk away and, and hate what I love doing. And my biggest goal is to just go out there and just do the best that I can at this point. And do you think we'll be seeing this athlete in Paris too? Watch to find out.